Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for August the 4th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Shire confirmed that it recently submitted a proposal to Baxalta to combine the companies under an all-stock deal valued at approximately $30 billion. However, Shire noted that Baxalta has declined to engage in discussions regarding the transaction. Also featured, a report suggests that productivity in the pharmaceutical industry is continuing to improve, as evidenced by product approvals and greater success in late-stage studies. The data showed that there were 46 new molecular entities launched globally in 2014, up from 29 in 2013. In other news, sales of Boehringer Ingelheim's prescription medicines in the first half of the year climbed 12% to 5.4 billion euros. However, the company noted that the figure represented stable growth of 1% when currency effects were removed. In addition, Pfizer licensed US marketing rights to Synthon's potential generic version of Teva's multiple sclerosis drug Copaxone. Both the once daily and a three times a week formulation of Synthon's drug are currently being reviewed by the FDA. And finally, Horizon Pharma said it wants DepoMed to set a date to determine shareholders entitled to request a special meeting in order to vote on its raised takeover bid. Horizon is also filing a lawsuit challenging the legality of DepoMed's recently adopted poison pill and certain bylaw changes the company announced in July. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 